and I'm really, really thankful for her to that she has come here. Thank you. She has broadened our vision. She took us, you know, there is one eternal truth. One truth is that everything has a beginning, it has a middle phase and it has an end. That we see in our life. We are born, then we are adults, finally we go. And everything that is in form goes through these three stages. And this three stages also has been put in our trinity, the Brahma, Vishnu and Mahesh. So we see this in everything. And she sees the evolution of all the trees. What is evolution? Evolution is when all the trees together or all human race when they went through. So evolution has gone through this. Also human beings have gone through this. So what is true at the microcosm is also true in the macrocosm. And what she has done is, this truth she has brought to us at all levels. So we see it, how the ages were there, the chakras were there, the botanical growth was there, and the money how you see. And so she has broadened our vision. Sometimes we also might think, how will we use this? Because it's too much. Now whether it is the stone age and how are we going to translate. So this is a part of it. But we can also see it. You know, when we come here, we come from certain stance. Her stance was different because she came from no idea of periodic table. She didn't have Shankaran to teach as we have at the opportunity. So we know the periodic table. We know how periodic table was. And then we learn plants from the sensation method. So we can relate to that. It's like our way of looking, that framework. So we can learn these six stages from the human aspect. So what she's talking about, the whole life which went through, all human race went through, we can also see it from what an individual goes through. So the first three things are like in the womb. The beginning in the womb, the second stage is in the womb, third is separation, which is like the birth process, the nitrogen and the oxygen. The natrum line is the third, fourth column. Then calcarea line. So we have some idea and last is the Aurum series or the King series or the adult stage. And then we see the same theme of water, earth, fire element. And then that same cycle begins af after birth and before birth. So like in the womb itself is a one cycle. You begin your womb stage and you end your womb stage, then you begin your life outside and you end. Now, what is beautiful about what she does is, it is not just a system. Did you see how grounded she is in the symptoms? She ended by saying, I take symptoms first. She showed us a case of renunculus bulbosus, but she gave it on well lost in the well-known street. She also gave rhododendron where there is fear of thunder and storm. Now what is important is, this system helps us understand what we never understood. Now we know rhododendron because where it is, we can understand how it is. So her method helps us understand things. Also her method helps us zero down or narrow down our search field. Once that narrowed down, we have to go to the genius and the remedy what we give has to treat. And I have been really helped. So many remedies which I would have never been able to give. Austria Virgiana, Nisthanthus, means things which I have never given and with such excellent results. So I am very happy because she has opened the whole plant kingdom in such a way that we can now use so many remedies which otherwise we could not use. So though she is making us aware about this big picture, it doesn't mean that we have to know. And uh, this especially I want to tell people who are new, who are sitting probably in the next room, and uh, that I think in the end of two days we have learned. Some might have learned more because you're already in the system, some might have learned little less, but eventually we are taking with us something. And I think we should be very happy and it is beginning and I'm sure if you believe in this system and if you start using it, even for your known cases and what you have already treated, eventually you will see that you learn and grow and you will also feel very enriched and you will also enjoy it because homeopathy becomes understandable. For me, I can tell it is important because when a patient comes with mental symptoms, he wants to be understood. It is not a person with a knee joint problem. 
so i have to understand the patient and these systems these maps help me understand and in a way help me narrow down my search field so thank you very 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 much uh, it's for me it's very good that you have come and uh, maybe now she will answer all the questions i don't know but uh, oh, we stand up for you and thank you very much thank you. and thank you all of you I also want to thank the other song for helping me organize this and let's ask her the question now i won't answer i just wanted to say what i had to say but i'll sit next to her hmm? so sometimes the same thing which i also do but so different it's the yin approach the yang approach you approach it whichever way you want you approach it in your own personal way mm -hmm. but there is truth in it and you will see it the more and more you will see it is based on some truth and that is what you see when you see that is the same thing at different levels so thank you and here you can answer the questions i'll be here okay. too uh just one small thing uh you could have it. one small thing uh can i say one more thing before you say sensation method till now we knew all the plant kingdom all the plants which are beautifully mapped in terms of sensation but they were disconnected we know ranunculaceae has this you know what is but now we have understanding and the sensation can be understood from the evolutionary perspective we know why each plant has that particular sensation so now that sensation is not just one sensation but we know why this sensation is there in that particular and this is very very interesting so yesterday we already talked about sensations and how we can understand from different levels i try to answer in short but this is again so this is not something that this method or that method i think it's an umbrella which covers many many things and it is like the seven levels at a human level at the delusion level at the fact level at the sensation level it is when you see the same story at all levels with the underpinning of evolution probably as she does it Uh, and um I, and again to i want to emphasize the table of plants is just one aspect of the r repetitivity of the world of the fractal like manner in which the, our universe is expressing the same uh, temples and patter templates and patterns and laws of creation so you therefore this is why you find it In the f we first found it, found it in the minerals because it was, of course, the, the easiest way. Uh, and the, but then we find it in in, in plants, and we'll f you'll find the same repetitive patterns, with some, of course, different. But something will do it will repeat itself in the in the animal kingdom, and it is rep and men who actually, in in a way, is a kingdom unto itself, have all those kingdom in him. That's why we can be helped with a watermelon or with a snake or with a, or with a carbon. And many times you will see that there is some semblance between a certain um, any mineral, a certain plant, or group of plants and a certain uh, group of animals. And I'm sure you, some of you have much more experience in that than me. But for me, the magnificent thing, my role was just to bring plants. and i have again i have invented nothing all i do is i uncover what is there i'm a researcher by nature and that's what i do and i have some abil uh, ability to listen <laughs> but that's all i have invented nothing but for me the magnificent thing was that it's all came through our materia medica i i'm reading plants not by channeling the plants i'm looking at it through the materia medica i understand plants better and then i understand human behavior yet better i understand even now why things happen in the world as they do just as i understand why a patient behaves as he does if i'm having enough information because the archetypal patterns repeat themselves in every level and and there and 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 the beauty of it that it is coming through homeopathy and the we, and the hom homeopathy tells us this wondrous order of the world and and the plants are it, it's it was very easy to see it and uh, and this name wondrous order 
kind of ask itself, because that's what I saw, wondrous order, true homeopathy. And when you kind of put your, uh, the magnifying class of homeopathy on any level of existence, you'll see beautiful things. And this is our system. So, thank you.